welcome to another video curated by me. I'm making it, I'm speaking it, and hand actions. From the age of about uh, 13 to 15, I went through something called seasonal affective disorder. And what this was is, it's like a mental condition. It's not quite depression, but it's, it's, it's getting there. And essentially what it is, is every... Every time the winter comes, every time that, you know, the days get shorter, it gets darker, it gets cold. It's essentially a pathetic fallacy having, you know, an impact on you. And it made life incredibly difficult for me when those um, November months came through and winter was coming through. And only, you know, it took until about April every year for me to feel myself again and to be able to get out of bed and experience life. Through this time, I tried to seek help through different beautiful internet forums and my lovely mother, but unfortunately it, I, it, it proved quite difficult because it's either people taking the piss out of the name, seasonal affective disorder, sad, you know, not a great name, but um, like dyslexia, who names dyslexia, dyslexia, how, how can any of them spell that? Back to the point, okay. So I was going through all that stuff and my mum, bless her, she was trying to help a lot. So what she did is she Googled, Googled things about SAD and in the end she bought me an SAD light, which is effectively a really bright LED panel that, um, you know, you, you meant to shine it into your face every morning to um, stimulate, stimulate your eyes and all that brain stuff to trick yourself into thinking there's sunlight. And it's meant to, um, you know, kickstart your day and give you some fake, some fake vitamin D. So I tried this for a very long time. I tried to make this light work and it didn't work. And I just gave up after a few months and I threw it in the bottom of my cupboard and I left it there. And it wasn't until about half a year ago when I got this camera and I started doing videos. I keep clapping, like, what am I doing? It wasn't until about half a year ago when I got this camera I started doing videos that I was digging through my closet closet I'm not American my cupboard and I'm just gonna leave these in because eh. I was digging through my cupboard trying to find a light to use um, for a you know camera setup and lo and behold guess what I found and I will show you now if I can get my phone camera working here we go I'm getting there Patience. Here we go. Okay. So this was my SAD light, and it's what I used um, about once in my entire life. And this is now used in every single video that I make, which you know, not to be too sentimental or cliche, but I feel that. Something that, you know, was meant to give me joy and give me a kickstart to my day now brings me even more joy because it's been repurposed as a crappy little camera, you know, shooting light. And I also, I also use this, um, this lovely lamp here. Well, that... Phone cameras are amazing. <laughs> I like, hope you like the, the setup. And there's a lovely tripod here. And then there's you. So yeah, I just thought that I'd like to share this with the internet because that's what clever people do. And I hope you liked my short tale of mental disorder turned camera gear. Thank you for watching. Don't subscribe. Please don't like my videos. And just for the love of God, do not comment because that would just ruin my day if I got a lovely comment on this video. I will now play you out to a lovely song I wrote. I didn't write it, I haven't played it in about five years, so here we go. It's meant to be La Vie en Rose, or La Vie en Rose, but I haven't played it in about two years. <laughs>